Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, what we are going to discuss one of the most important and interesting topic, production of wine. So how this wine will be prepared in the industries. So the major important technique which is mainly used for the production of wine is fermentation, where we all of us know that. So let us see how the wine will be prepared by using fermentation technique. So actually what is wine? Wine is an alcoholic beverage made from the fruit juice by fermentation process. So what are the type of fruits which are going to use here? Grapes. So by using these grapes, we are going to prepare this wine. And the grape wine is highly prepared which is produced from crushed grapes by using various types of yeast. So here yeast plays a major and vital role for the production of wine such that the natural sugars can be converted to the alcohols and that alcohol will be consumed by the human beings which will be supplied to the markets. So in this way the grape wine will be prepared actually. So let us see how the grape wine will be prepared in the industries by using the fermentation process and also by using this yeast. Right. So the first step what you are going to do is that collection of grapes. Collection of grapes is nothing but you are going to uh, take grapes from the trees. Okay. So we know that the grapes consist of once you collect the grapes the stem as well as the grapes. The stem will be attached to the grapes right. And in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to do the process of stemming. Stemming means what? Stemming means you are going to separate the stem as well as the fruit in this way. Okay. Separation of stem and fruit is called as stemming. So you are going to separate the stem as well as the fruit. And now what you are going to do in the next step. See look at the pictures which I am providing at the left side. Okay. So then in the next step what you are going to do is that. So you are going to take all of these fruits not the stem. We are not going to use a, the stem anymore because it is useless. We are going to throw it away. And now we are going to select all of these grapes. And then you are going to do the process of crushing. You are going to crush all of these grapes in the hydraulic press. So if you see in the picture this is, call, this is called as hydraulic press. And you are going to add all of these grapes all of these fruits without stem into this hydraulic press such that the crushing process begins in that hydraulic press. So crushing means what happens is that all of these fruits which are present will undergo crushing. It will get crushed such that the fruit juice will be obtained along with the skin of that grapes. Right. So once you do the crushing process what happens the fruit juice will be obtained along with the skin skin of that particular grapes. So in the next step what you are going to do is that you are going to separate the fruit juice from the skin. So the skin, so along with the fruit juice, the skin will also be obtained, right? The skin of that particular grape will be obtained, right? So that skin will be separated, will be separated. So as, as if you see in the picture, then you can understand how the skin can be separated from this fruit juice, right? And now in the next step, what you're going to do is that. So here the fresh juice will be obtained, right? As you're separating the skin from the fruit juice, the fresh juice will be obtained. Okay. And that fresh juice will be added, will be placed in the fermentation tank. Right. So before doing this process, what you are going to do is that you are going to take the fermentation tank and you are going to clean this fermentation tank with water. Okay. And then after cleaning this fermentation tank with water, this fresh juice will be added into this fermentation tank. And here, one of the most, most, most important thing which you have to remember is that along with this fresh juice, you are also going to add this yeast. So step to, uh, so if you see in this picture, then you can understand what is yeast, right? So you are going to add this yeast into this fermentation tank. And along with this yeast, you are also you are also going to add this nutrient medium. So here oxygen in nutrient medium also consists of oxygen where oxygen will be supplied through the inlet oxygen inlet such that it plays a major and vital role for the conversion of the primary metabolite into secondary metabolite. Okay, so it mainly helps in the processing the uh, you know function of this fermentation tank. So what happens now we are going to supply the electricity. So what happens the agitation occurs. Agitation is nothing but which consists of the motor and even the blades. So once it starts rotating then the primary metabolites will get converted into secondary metabolites. So here primary metabolite is nothing but the grapes which we have selected and secondary metabolites is nothing but the wine which we want to obtain. Right. So enough the yeast will be added the fresh juice will be added and even the nutrient medium will also be added and the fermentation tank. Uh, will start its functioning by using electricity and make sure that the electricity should be supplied continuously such that the electricity break should not be happen I mean the electric power cut should not ha should not happen such that you are going to connect the generator to the main okay so here the temperature which you are going to apply for this fermentation tank is 20 to 30 degrees Celsius and temperature controller will be present to the fermentation tank itself so what you what is the temperature you are going to apply 20 to 30 degrees Celsius for 10 to 30 days so for 10 to 30 days, you are going to do this process. You are going to perform this fermentation. Okay. Don't forget to mention this uh, time period. 
10 to 13 days 10 to 30 days of time will be uh, will be consumed by these grapes to convert it into wine by this fermentation process okay so within, within this 10 to 30 days what will happen the natural sugars will get converted into alcohols in within the fermentation tank within this time period itself the natural sugars will get converted into the alcohols so how it will get converted into alcohols by using this yeast such that the yeast plays a major and vital role which mainly converts these natural sugars into alcohols natural sugars is nothing but the uh, grape juice which i have added into the fermentation tank right so this you know all of this fruit juice which have fresh juice which have been obtained from this grapes will be added into the fermentation tank right so this fresh juice is called as natural sugars which consists of a natural sugars so biochemically i'm going to say here as natural sugars that natural sugars will get converted into alcohols by using that yeast so what happens in the next step so once the fermentation process has been done then the unpure liquid wine will be obtained from that outlet of that fermentation so you are going to on the tap of that outlet of the fermentation tank then the unpure liquid bn this is called a secondary metabolite okay so this unpure liquid wine which is a secondary metabolite will be obtained from that fermentation tank and this unpure liquid wine will also consist of vat right vat is nothing but which is which is also called as unusual material where uh, this vat will get separated from the unpure liquid wine okay such that that liquid wine which has been separated from this vat will undergo filtration and flotation because it is unpure wine right so you are going to filtrate it such that the pure wine will be obtained right and now what you are going to do is that the pure wine which has been obtained will be stored in the wooden barrels or else it can be also stored in the metal vats so if you see in the pictures then you can understand right so don't forget to look at the pictures so once it is once it has been stored in the wooden barrels or as metal vats what will happen is that you are going to store it for 4 to 5 days such that the mature it will develop into mature wine okay that pure wine which has been formed it is unmature in form such that it will get developed into mature wine it will get converted into mature wine mature wine is nothing but the flavors will get developed inside it okay so we can uh, so we can understand the taste we can feel the taste once if you consume it such that uh, the mature wine will be produced it will get converted actually okay and of this matured wine will be stored in the bottles and before storing them into the bottles what you are going to do is that you are going to add little amount of sulfite to this matured wine so what is the main key role which will be placed which will be played by the sulfite the sulfite is mainly used as a preservative factor such that it mainly helps in the preserving the wine okay so it will be preserved in the bottles by using the sulfite and then it will be supplied to the markets and that will be consumed by the human beings so this is about how the production of the wine occurs in the industries so if you like my explanation just like the video and subscribe my channel for more videos and if you have any doubts regarding this topic you can comment in the comment box i am going to clarify your doubts thank you